<laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. You know what I think is weird when YouTube videos start off with some sort of B-roll? Like, how on original? Hey Blip Sounds, it's Brian Seeley back here at the end of March for the sound design competition. And we had 11 entries this time around. Uh, those of you that entered, some of your, some of the familiar names, you guys have improved by leaps and bounds. And it's been so exciting to watch your progress in this. Uh, I'm really excited for next month's competition, but I'm not going to be talking about that now. If you want to know more about it, make sure that you're not only subscribed to this YouTube channel, but also check out our Discord channel. Uh, if you're not already a member, there should be a link down below to the Blip Sounds Discord channel and there you will be able to find out about the announcement as soon as we post it same if you are subscribed to the YouTube channel you will be notified as soon as we post the video and have access to it before anyone else does uh, if you all we also talk a lot about the game audio training series on the blip sound server as well as more information in the website and I'll be talking about that towards the end of the video I'm really excited to dive into these uh, again some of these are just fantastic and of course I play a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic. It, that game is to me what Overwatch is to Ryan. So for those of you who know, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's dive into these videos and these entries. All right, so first up in our entries is Nomi, who came in in fifth place. And let's go ahead and check out his video. Uh, so right away, what I like about Nomi's video is uh, that buildup. It's it's a really nice buildup. It's probably one of my favorite buildups of all of the videos that we're going to look at. Um, this uh, this revivication, the AOA heal from the Sith Sork class, is a great example of a rise and fall action. We have the cast, which is the rise, and then we have the fall, the payoff. Is when they uh, is when the player character um, actually executes the the cast and then it uh, drops the AOE heal on the party, um, and you did a really good job with this build up on it. Um, there's a there's a sense of rise. Um, there's a sense of anticipation. My biggest critique would be uh, in the actual. Uh, payoff itself you see this this dome that uh, why am I using my fingers um, so this dome that happens uh, when when I see something like that like I usually imagine some kind of like like some some sort of of uh, build or, or I'm not build but like a bass sound or something you know because this is uh, it's an AOE heel that has uh, like an outward explosion and it would be a great opportunity to accentuate that to add more low end it's it's very top end heavy uh and and uh, uh for the purpose of the game itself like that would be really useful in poking out in the mix because it it's uh um has those elements going on but i think you could have added a little bit more low end uh, really accentuate that that um that dome going out but uh overall nice job i even liked a little bit of ambience that you added you know, it's it's the ambience that makes uh, a scene feel lived in. It it makes an an element feel lived in, like it's alive, like there's things going on. Um, so I like the ambience. Great job with that. And the uh, there, there's definitely some reverb going on on your build, and then there's a uh, uh, not a lot of reverb on the actual. Um, element itself and it kind of makes them feel like two different elements rather than than one but it's overall it's a great job I, I think it really sells the effect and and i think it would work out well with a little bit of minor tweaks um great job and i really enjoyed it in fourth place is squash uh 
So with with Squoche's sound, there's there's a lot of good things going on on here, and there's a, a lot of attention to detail, uh, which I really like, and I think he did a great job with. I like that build. Um, eh. Uh, it's, it sounds like you're, you're bowing like a piece of metal or something like that, like running a bow or, or running something on that. Uh, uh, I, I don't know what, what it is you're doing. Um, but I love that sound. I love that, that build that's going on. Um. I also, I love that you added that sound of the health ticking on all of the players. You know, that uh, adding that, that's a uh, nice attention to detail. And uh, that's something that's not seen in a lot of these videos. Uh, great job on that. Great job on adding that little touch. Um, again, like I, I would just like the previous video, it would be nice to add a little bit more bass, uh, to that dome going out. Uh, and, and, um, you have an opportunity to really make that feel like the heel is going out. Like there's this, um, energy flowing out and and you know in, in in a game like this where you're in an eight man or 16 man raid group and you know your team is taking a lot of damage and you drop an aoe heal it's uh you know it's kind of like a, it's a it's a a great feeling like when you're in that party and you're taking a lot of damage whether you're the tank or the dps and the aoe heal comes out and it's it's a wonderful like thing to see your, Hey, I'm not going to die this round yet. And also just to have that, like that kind of like glory, like, ah, oh, I've been healed. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I really like that build up. I like that attention to detail at the end. I like the way that it sounds like the whole, the, it, the, it, it sounds like it is emanating out. You did a great job with that sound. Um, great use of reverb and use of your space to really create that, whoosh, you know, the sound is emanating out from that dome. Uh, like I said, I would just add a little bit more bass in, but great job. Uh, we're going to move on to Scott Clausen, and I was really excited for this one. Um, so I remember somebody in the Discord channel asked about using a didgeridoo. And I was like, yeah, go for it. And I'm really excited to hear how you're going to use it. And I got to hear it. Um, I really like the use of that didgeridoo. It adds a sort of like more mythical element because it's not like it's not a normal sound. It's not something we just hear in everyday uh, occurrences. Um, I like that build that you use with it, that wah, like it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, great job with that. I, uh, my, my critique, I like the, I like the depth of the explosion. Uh, but I think the explosion is a little too harsh. Uh, I think it could be a bit more rounded, a bit more kind of like a bouge kind of sound. Um, and, uh, but it, it really conveys uh, that there's an intense energy going out. Uh, that's a great job with that. And it, it's, uh, overall, it's a really great sound. It's a lot of fun. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is your, your buildup is too loud compared with the payoff. And again, that could be because, you know, you're, you're pushing this into a compressor and limiter or, or not. I, I don't see your, uh, I can't see your DAW settings, um, obviously, but um, the I, I think your build could have been a little bit quieter compared to the actual effect. Um, but I like that staccato intro. Uh, intro, it's great for player feedback. It blends with the sound. It doesn't sound out of place, doesn't sound out of character, but it's definitely a, a nice, sharp player feedback.
Um, and again, like that didgeridoo, just accentuating that dome coming out. That was a nice touch. Uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. You know, and I like that little kind of delay that you added that um, at the end. Um, it, it helps to sell that this is a, a sound that's emanating out from a center point and it's emanating out in an AOE. Um, and great job overall. I, I enjoyed it a lot and it's a lot of fun. Um, second place is Metzik. And before I play it, I'm just going to say this one made me smile a lot and you'll hear why. I love that. I love that ending. That, that, ooh, ee, ooh. so much fun. Uh, made me smile a lot. Uh, I just, I had a blast uh, with that. It was, it was it was really really good um, great job on that that build up um, um, I, I like that little the little use of that little chime uh, that was a lot of fun that was a really uh, interesting um, player feedback uh i think for your build-up i think you could have used a little less bass the the bass kind of um it, there's too much bass in that low end and it doesn't make the payoff feel uh feel big enough um but i love that like gong hit or that like hitting that piece of metal or whatever it is that you hit that was a great sound i think it was a little late uh on the video because you start to see the dome appear and then you hear that boom sound and and i think you should have you could have uh slid the that dome sound back just a little bit more just to make it fit as soon as that dome appears um it's a wonderful sound it's it's kind of the the sound that i had in mind um uh, if i were making this video that kind of because it really lends itself to um this sound of, of of uh this aoe like emanating out and it's just wonderful um it's a lot of fun that ooey you at the end, it just makes me smile every single time I get a big kick out of it. So wonderful job, uh, wonderful overall. Uh, I liked it a lot. Like I said, a little bit, a little bit too much bass. That bass on the intro makes it feel a little bit too ominous, um, and it doesn't give it that kind of build that it really needs. That anticipation of the cast. Um, a bass drop like that is more of a finality, not a build. So I would always save bass drops for payoffs. Um, you know, they're, they're a build and then a bass drop. That, that is less about building and it's more about a payoff. All right. And now getting into first place, a, or our, our grand place winner, our new blip sound king is... Ohms. Um, very simple, but there's a lot of good things going on. There's a lot of attention to detail. Um, so, <coughs> um, we talked before uh, about player feedback, and this is a great example of that. Um, I like the little nice touch of adding the click when you click the hot button. And then that click right as the sound starts, that little flamed click as the uh, as the cast starts. Again, it's a great example of player feedback. You know, I push the button, the action happens. And I mean, that's that's basically what happens because it's not always going to be players using their mouse. I mean, I use a combination of my mouse on the hotkeys as well I use as well as I use the hotkeys themselves. 
And so having something that has clued me in to, hey, this is this is happening, especially, you know, when you're dealing with a game, it's an online game. Uh, there's always a chance for lag. You never want to feel like you're being cheated. And so great job with that. Uh, great job with that little flam sound. Again, it sounds like it's part of the sound itself. It's within character of it, but it's just a little player feedback. And uh, I like that. I like that intro where it sounds like it's either water draining down a drain or you're like scraping metal or something like that. Um, I think my critique for it is that it 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 feels like it wasn't done with the crescendo. It feels like there was more room for a crescendo on it before the hit happens. Like there's that there's that dip with like, which is a nice little dip, but it feels like there was more crescendo that needed to happen. And so either getting to that crescendo sooner or something like that before the hit, it helps them to feel connected. Um, it kind of feels a little disconnected, like the sounds are overlapping each other. Um, I like that uh, expanding out sound. There's there's a little subtle hint of some low end. There's a there's some really good stuff going on there. Um, and I like how you you took advantage of this ring being on the ground when you had that kind of like little watery sound going on. Um, and, uh, I, I love that, uh, attention to detail. I think you missed an opportunity. That same kind of glowy effect on the ring is on these other characters here. And I think you could have had a great opportunity to, uh, make some variation of that sound for these characters, since there's still a visual element going on, um, you know, maybe using a smaller, uh, maybe a more high-pitched version of that drain, but on the different characters. Uh, not even that it needs to be a bunch of different sounds, because the the uh, animation is the same for each of the characters. Um, but I think it would have been a great opportunity to add a little bit more attention to detail. Um, I like it. I like that high end. Uh, I would I would be careful and maybe tamed a little bit, but that high end is great for making it poke out of the mix. When you have music going on and you have the other characters that are all fighting and you have whatever boss they're fighting is making its sounds and there's all sorts of stuff going on. So having a bit more of high end information poke out of the mix really helps informs all the players that this, that this is happening. Um, and, you know, there's really a difference when we're talking about heal sounds versus um, attack sounds. You know, attack sounds, you want them to sound ominous. You want them to sound like there's a low build and, and there's all these, like, dangers that are going to happen. But for a heal sound, you want that to be more inviting. Um, you know, you're healing your teammates. That should sound inviting. It shouldn't sound ominous. I mean, even if you're a Sith you're still healing your your teammates and so uh having a lot more high-end information making something that sounds more wispy like you did i think that that's great um you know it sounds inviting you're like hooray i'm being healed this is a wonderful thing so great job on that uh absolutely uh loved it a lot and i think you did a great job uh, congratulations on winning. Uh, as always, as we've stated, whoever wins the monthly sound design competition gets a free month of our game audio training series. And if you want to know more about that, check out blipsounds.com where we have information about it. It's a monthly subscription where you get in-depth training on sound design, on implementation, learning how to use Unity, Wise, FMOD. Uh, we also have partnerships with various schools and nonprofit groups where uh, we will be helping them as they make their games and we will be helping uh, form audio teams who will create the sounds and then learn how to implement those sounds into the video games. So you'll learn the principles, not just of 
sound design, but also audio implementation and getting your hands dirty and code and all sorts of things. Uh, so definitely check that out. If you want to know more, we'd love to have you in there. Um, if you're not already a member of our Discord community, would definitely recommend that you check that out. The link for it should be down below. It's, uh, it's an open link for whoever wants to join. Uh, it's a wonderful community. Many of these people that have uh, submitted their sounds have taken advantage of our peer feedback groups where our peer feedback channels where they can submit either their sounds for the design. Uh, we also do reel reviews uh, for people that want to have their demo reels. Uh, we talk a lot about how to get into the industry, about interviews and all sorts of things like that. So if you're looking for a fun community of people who love sound design, even if you're a hobbyist or you just like the idea of sound design, come check us out. We're a fun group. We have everyone all the way from people that work full time in AAA studios to hobbyists and people that are just interested in learning more about what is sound design. So come check it out. And I really hope that you guys will stay tuned for next month's video. I'm really excited for it. I'm excited for uh, what's going to happen. And I'm excited to see what you guys are going to do with next month's sound. So great job to everybody that entered this month. I hope to see you guys all back as well as others for next month. Uh, let your friends know about this. This is a wonderful opportunity to improve as a sound designer and maybe even get some cool free stuff out of it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your March and I will see you guys all in February. Take care and peace out.